One of the good things about my work, um, the novels and the show, is that mothers pass it on to their daughters or to their granddaughters. And they also pass it down um, horizontally to their friends. And it's then it comes from the friend's daughter and the daughter of the friend's daughter. So there's a built-in legacy built into the, the, very, the very hardcore thing of a book. And now they can go see a movie, they can rent a movie. That makes it more immediate to the, to the, to the viewer or to the reader, whichever one it is. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping that there's enough of, of me in the show, enough of the language of the characters in this show, to hold it really, really together. When Hug Girls was uh, in, in, in its incipient, uh, South Africa was not in any way, shape, or mean close to being an apartheid-free uh, South Africa. Norman Mandela was still in jail when this piece came out. Uh, Angela Davis was in and out of jail when this piece first was done in California. So it was very much part of the fabric of the politics of the time. We're very grateful to Mr. Perry and um, the 30, 34th Street Studios for taking us on as their first project. And we hope to do well.